what's going on folks today's video it's all about the full user guide of using superstore finder and its features in 2021 we've provided timestamp and shortcut links in the description below if you guys want to jump into a particular topic so first of all superstore finder is a plugin that uses google maps api or google maps platform so you will need to create google api key and save it at the admin settings page in order to use the plugin Google provides $200 free monthly credits to its users, so you will only need to pay Google if you exceed the usage limit, which I'll be providing the link in the description area. For installations, you guys can refer to the user guide. You can install the plugin either by using the WordPress plugins page by uploading the zip file, or for some reason it failed, you can install it manually by uploading the zip file using FTP and activating it at the WP plugins page. To get started, you can head over to the quick start page and start looking for the available shortcodes that can be used. In this example, we're going to create a new WordPress post and use the simplest Superstore Finder shortcode and publish it. It doesn't matter if you're using the classic editor, the new Gutenberg editor, um, Visual Composer, Elementor, WP Bakery Composer, Bevo Builder and any others, you can still publish the shortcode. Within just a few minutes, your store locator is now published and you can start adding stores so your customers can find your locations easily. On top of that, you can customize the design styles and colors. Let's first talk about layouts. You can choose one of three layouts that are available at the admin settings page. We have the standard classic layout with the search bar and the filter floating on top of the map. We also have the left layout with search bar and filter elements on the left and right layout which has everything on the right. These layouts are fully responsive and works on computers, tablets and mobile devices. Alright, if you scroll down on our live demo page, let's start with some basic settings just to show the map only. As you can see, there's no result list, it's just the map with the markers, uh, filter, and also the search bar. If you want to know how to do this, you want to head over to the admin settings page, scroll down and open up the filter tab, and now set show result list to no. We'll explain to you each and every settings field up next, but for now, we're just going to show you how this simple um, show result list is set to show and also hidden. As you can see in the preview right here, if I set it to no, there'll be no result list. And if I set it to yes, the result list will appear on your store locator map. Speaking about result list, we have three result list settings. The first one is to show image or video. The second one is to show label, which can be alphabetical or numeric. And lastly, it's just a simple plain result list. You can choose any of these result list settings, no matter what layout that you're using. If you want to know more on how to add more fields in the result list, we've provided the link in the description area. To change the result list settings uh, from the admin settings page within the same filter panel tab, you want to go to the result list header. If you set it to no, then it'll be plain. If you set it to image or video, then images and videos will be shown in the result list. And finally, if you choose yes, it will show the labeled result list like we've seen with the alphabets and numbers. All right, next we're going to be showing you how to show and hide filters and also elements of the store locator. If you look closely into the filters, the top part is called the show all filter because it has a show all link right there. Um, we have the by region filter and also the category filter and the search bar. In the filter panel tab of admin settings page, you can toggle the values to yes or no, which will either show or hide any of these elements. All right, for the country filter, it is disabled by default, but you can choose to enable this feature, which will activate the country filter feature for the plugin. At the front end, a new country filter will appear and you only show the countries that are assigned to your stores in the back end. And of course, you can rename all the captions related to countries to any other caption that you wish. Next are the get directions and also street view links. You can disable this from the admin settings page as well. You can also show the categories or tags in the info window as well as the result list. 
by default these two are disabled however you can choose to turn them on if needed in addition you can also show or hide the get directions link in the result list the final item in the filter panel of admin settings page is the search bar which you can toggle show or hide as well to toggle the geolocation icon you can do this from the general settings in admin settings page it is called the geolocation icon settings which you can set to show or hide when a web visitor clicks on the geolocation icon basically it will prompt to the visitor whether to allow location sharing or not if it's allowed then nearby stores will be shown also take note as per latest google maps policy your server will require https in order to use the geolocation feature next up we'll show you how to set default category shortcode to show default category when the store located page is loaded for example here this page will load and show only stores within the restaurants category upon loading the store located page this can simply be done by adding the shortcode with the category attribute simply enter the category name or you can put the word default there and you will open the category panel by default more details on how to use the category shortcode are available in the knowledge base link which will provide in the description area in addition to that you can also use the location shortcode whereby you can load your store locator and straight away show nearby stores of that particular location you can also use the combination of category and location shortcodes in one. Next up, let's talk about pagination. If you have a lot of stores, you can choose to enable pagination from the admin settings page, especially if you want to avoid the long scrolling on mobile devices. Just look for the pagination settings and then you can set how many stores you wish to show per page. Simply save the settings and the pagination will appear at the front end. All right, now let's talk about info window icons. By default, this is disabled. You can choose to show icons for the fields such as address, telephone, email, operating hours, and others in the info window as well as the result list. To enable this, simply go to the settings page and look for store info icons field. You just want to set it to yes. All right, next, let's talk about the request at store form. You can use the request at store form shortcode to publish the form on any WordPress page or post. This way, the public can suggest or request a store which admin has to approve via the back end. Uh, this is the shortcode that you can use to add the request at store form. We'll also provide the link to the knowledge base in the description area. Once the admin approves the store and the store will be finally published on your store locator page. In addition, in the admin settings page, there's a request at store uh, tab where you can edit all the caption and text related to the form. You can also toggle other settings related to the request at store form, which link will be provided in the description below. Next up, let's talk about multilingual support. Superstore Finder plugin supports WPML multi-language plugin, which is a premium plugin. For more info, you can visit WPML.org. We've also provided some knowledge-based articles regarding WPML on how to perform simple translation, for example, by using the string translation module from WPML. We've also provided a couple of PO files, which you can download via the article itself. Take note that all the strings in Superstore Finder can be translated using WPML. This includes all the captions in the settings page. You can translate the categories. You can translate the regions. Almost everything can be translated. Store name, store address, which you can configure to be translated if needed. Uh, you can refer to the knowledge base article for more info. Next up, let's talk about the contact form. Each and every store of Superstore Finder has a built-in contact form, which you can activate via the Add or Edit Store page. So to do this, you have to go to the Admin, click on the Stores menu on top, and then simply Edit a Store. You can set the recipient of the contact form, whether to be the Admin email, which is set in the Admin Settings page, or individual store owner email which is safe 
in add or edit store page. Next, let's talk about import and export stores. Simply head to the admin and click on the import export stores. Here, there's a link to documentation that will teach you how to import. You can also download the sample CSV. And once you upload the CSV file, you can press the import and geocode button to perform bulk import. To export stores, simply click on the export button. And you have all your stores in a nice CSV file, which you can use to import again on another Superstore Finder platform. Do take note to perform import and geocode, you will need to create another Google API key, which is called Google Geocoding Key, which has different settings and steps to be made. Once the key is created, you can actually test the key. More info will be available in the knowledge base link in the description area. Next, let's talk about stores analytics and tracking. By default, this feature is already turned on. However, you can toggle to on or off this feature from the admin settings page. Once it is enabled, you can go to the menu and click on the analytics link. From here, you have an overview of how many locations or stores that you have, how many searches performed by the visitors, which you can keep track, which location are searched the most, for instance, and also number of views that your stores have been clicked, including email clicks and telephone clicks. There are weekly, monthly, and yearly reports which you can monitor and also generate reports. If you miss any report, you can always go back to the annual report and go back to that year to check specific records that you need. It's a pretty neat, compact, analytical dashboard tool which allows you to see which are the trending stores, which stores have more inquiries than others, and also most click stores on your store locator. Superstore Finder plugin is SEO ready and also mobile friendly. The plugin is tailor-made for mobile devices, especially mobile and tablets, although you can use it perfectly well on a computer or laptops. Our developers and designers here at Superstore Finders always ensure that the user experience will be as smooth as possible when they're using the plugin. It's also a trend for millions of mobile users out there that are looking for stores, nearby stores, they are using their mobile devices. With Superstore Finder, you can customize every aspect of the design, styles, and colors of your store locator. Simply head over to the admin settings page and you want to go to the style and colors tab. From here, you can change all the colors of the elements, including the search bar, filter panels, text, buttons, and more. You can refer to the color charts for more info, which will let you know exactly which color option to change that will reflect your store locator at the front end. Wish to customize your map? This is easy using snazzy maps. You can customize the map design colors, elements of the map, such as roads, um, airports, and other monuments. You can enable, disable, and customize them, and then generate a code. You can use that code in Superstore Finder admin, save them, and the map will be shown on your store locator page. All right, let's talk about add-ons. Add-ons are not compulsory, but if you need to extend the feature of your store locator, you can choose to have them. The first add-on is Marker Cluster. If you have too many markers cluster too close to one another, you can enable this add-on, which will cluster all your nearby markers together in a group of clusters. To install an add-on, go to the admin of Superstore Finder and click on the add-ons menu. From here, you can upload your add-on zip file and then you can turn them on or off. Some add-ons come with settings, which you can configure via the add-ons page, but some don't need this. Next up is the multi-category add-on. The multi-category add-on is just a simple add-on that will change from the regular radio button when selecting categories into checkboxes, which will allow users to select multiple categories at the front end. Next is the distance radius add-on. This add-on will allow you to add a new filter called by radius, which you can configure the distance radius selectable by your visitors from the admin add-ons page. From the admin add-ons page, you can manage the distance radius by adding, editing, and deleting them, and also setting the distance matrix from miles to kilometers, for example. Remember that installation of add-ons is strictly inside Superstore Finder add-ons page, 
and not within the WP plugins page itself. Another thing is that on the front end, uh, the distance of the stars and your visitor's current location or the search location will be displayed in the result list as well as the info window. The next up is the reviews and ratings add-on. This add-on will allow public users as well as users that have signed up on your website to leave their review as well as ratings for each individual stores. Before you're able to use this add-on, you will need to go to the WordPress admin Superstore Finder add-ons page. Um, from here, you can choose whether you want to allow the rating for the public users or users that already signed up on your WordPress website. And the most important thing to do is to create a recapture key. Recapture key is free and it's by Google. You just have to follow the steps, links provided in the description area, create and save the key on the add-ons page. You can also view the reviews by your users, search for a particular store or reviews, and as an admin, you can delete the reviews, which you may find inappropriate or breaking the terms and conditions. Next is the custom category marker add-on. Without this add-on, you can only set map markers for individual stores. With this add-on installed, there will be a category menu which you can click on it then you can assign markers for each category which will then be shown on your front end store locator map markers based on categories now let's talk about regions the regions in these plugins are basically address shortcuts you can enter the address of your regions from admin regions menu for example, if you enter the address as New York, when you click the region US, it will search that New York address. And then the nearby stores will be shown based on the distance radius settings set at the admin settings page. You can enter the distance value in kilometers. However, if you wish to enter it in miles, you can always Google the conversion from kilometers to miles and then just enter the final value in kilometers. All right, finally, we will go through all the settings for Superstar Finder. Let's start with the font. You can choose any of the Google fonts available in the admin settings page for your store locator. Next is the user role. You can set which user role can access the store finder module. For example, author, editor, contributor or WooCommerce shop manager. The Google Map language is basically the language that will be displayed on your Google Map at front end, while the Google Map region is, let's say you would like to have a store locator strictly in Paris, you can just lock the region in France. This way, people searching in the search bar, Google won't suggest other locations outside of France. Next is the default map settings. This info is available in the user guide. If you set geolocation upon page load, the store locator will request for your current location. If it's set to show all stores upon page load, the store locator will load all your stores. And if you choose specific location, whatever is in your default location field, your store locator will load nearby stores around that specific location. Next is the notification bar. You can set this to on or off. The notification bar basically is the black bar, which is displayed on the front end, which sometimes tells you like that there are nearby stores and no stores are found or Google Maps are loading. We couldn't detect your location or something like that. Then it's the telephone links. You can enable this or disable it. If you enable it, users will be able to click on telephone links at your still located front end. Next is the labeled markers. By default, this is turned on. You can disable this if you decided to turn it off. At the front end, you won't see the labeled markers anymore on the map. This is suitable if you have a logo on your map marker and you would like to show it off without having the labeled markers overlapping. Next is the show scroll to top. We can set it to yes or no. This is the little button on the bottom right of your store located page, which allows user to click and be brought to the top of the page. Most WordPress teams have this, so if you don't need it, you can disable it. 
Next is the zoom level. By default, the store finder is using auto, which is auto fit bound function from Google Maps API. This will automatically zoom the map according to nearby markers, which is presented on the map. It is highly advisable to use auto, however, you can change it to specific zoom if needed. There's also advanced zoom. So this is something that you can read about. It's available in the knowledge base. We'll leave the link in the description below. The next one is map mouse scroll. This is something simple. By enabling this, when you scroll your mouse, it will zoom in and out accordingly. The next one is scroll settings. Scroll settings is whereby when you click a store, it will scroll automatically to that store info window or you can set it to top, it will scroll top of the page, or you can set it to no, it won't scroll at all. Next is the geolocation icon. We've mentioned this previously. It will show or hide that blue little icon next to the search bar. The following settings are Google API key and Google geocoding key, uh, custom markers, which are the basic settings that are available in the user guide. The mobile fields by default, it will show less detail on mobile. This will not clutter the mobile interface at all. However, you can choose to show all details, which will include all the fields such as description, telephone, email, all in your mobile device. You can change the marker letter color if you wish. These are the colors of the letters on your map markers. Next is the data source. You can choose to use XML or JSON data source. I would prefer JSON for better performance. Although if you don't have so much stores, XML is still preferable. Next are the GDPR options. We will be providing the link in the description area. You can read for more info. The styles and colors tab, we've discussed this before. Under customizing design styles and colors, let's skip to the labels tab. In the labels tab, you can basically modify all the current captions in the store located plugin. For example, you can change outlets into offices and so forth. In the notifications tab, you can rename all the notifications if needed. For example, if it says nearby stores found, you can say nearby offices found. Just an example. The filter panels, we've discussed this earlier. You can rewind to that section or click in the timestamp below to view that particular section. In the contact form tab, you can modify all the captions related to the contact form, such as name, email, telephone, and others. In the rating and review tab, this will require the rating and review add-on. You can modify the captions or text that is available in the front end of the add-on. Same goes with the request ad store. You can modify the captions in the request form itself. Take note, if you're using WPML multi-language plugin, you can translate all these uh, captions in the settings into a different multiple language. If you can't find the answers that you're looking for in this video, you might be able to check out our user guide and also search our knowledge base and also check out the forums. By getting the plugin, you'll get free lifetime updates as well as free six months support, which is extensible if you wish to do this. You will also join tens of thousands of our community members that are using Superstore Finder. You can always reach out to our customer support as they provide world-class exceptional support. You can search over thousands of uh, knowledge base entries that might be able to help you if you face any issues with the plugin. Also, be sure to join our forums. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, this is Joe Is signing off.